Welcome to AgriAware Farm Walk and Talk 2020. Sustainability is the key topic for this year's Farm Walk and Talk, and improving sustainability on Irish farms is the key topic for the 2021 Leaving Cert Ag Science Syllabus. We'd like to thank UCD Lines for hosting us here today. I would like to welcome you all here to Lines Farm uh, this morning. Unfortunately, because of the precautions around the COVID-19, you cannot be here in person. But we will put all these presentations up on the UCD uh, social media sites and you'll be able to view them from the luxury of your own home. I hope you enjoy these video resources and I look forward to seeing you in the future. I wish you every success in your future prayers. Hello, my name is Bridget Lynch. I'm a lecturer and researcher here in the UCD School of Agriculture and Food Science. And my area of expertise is grassland science and production. So I'm going to take you through grassland management on Irish farms um, and talk about, I guess, the sustainability of producing more grass and utilising more grass on Irish farms. So firstly, we're just going to talk through the board um, where we have a typical map of a dairy grazing platform um, on Irish farms. So we've multiple paddocks that you can see mapped out there. And this represents um, rotational grazing or paddock grazing um, that's typical on Irish dairy farms. So cows or other grazing animals will graze these paddocks in rotation throughout the grazing season. Um, and farmers will then apply fertilizer or cut slurry from these paddocks um, in a rotational basis as well. So in order to manage grass as best as possible, to know when to cut silage, um, and also to know when to put out fertilizer or to know what paddocks need to be reseeded, farmers will measure grass on those paddocks. So that entails having a measurement technique, um, such as a plate meter, which we have on the board or we have here, going out onto each of these paddocks weekly and measuring how much grass or how much biomass is on those um, paddocks. And then there are software packages that allow farmers to put that information um, into an app or onto a software package on a laptop or a desktop um, back in the office. And that allows the farmers to create reports in which they can make decisions on the farm. So this is what we call a grass wedge. Um, and this shows the supply of grass on the farm um, at any point in time and it allows farmers to make decisions around supplementation, cutting paddocks for silage and knowing I guess when they're running into a surplus or when they're running into a def deficit. Um, so farmers have been actively encouraged to measure grass on their farms and make informed decisions um, which I guess helps the sustainability of our grass-based system. So I guess they, that was sort of the weekly um, decision making that grass measurement allows farmers to have. Then on an annual basis, I guess they get an overview of what's happening on the farm. So this um, chart here shows the annual tonnage on a farm. Um, so the farm has grown 14 tonnes of grass uh, dry matter on a per hectare basis. And it shows paddocks that are grown above that average and paddocks that are grown below that average. And I guess that allows farmers to see what paddocks are growing the most grass and which are growing the least amount of grass. And based on that, they can pick out paddocks for reseeding. Um, so we see um, a picture of reseeding taking place here um, and it allows them to rejuvenate those swards and put new grasses into them. Um, on the bottom, we have a grass growth curve. And again, that's reflective of grass supply throughout the year. And again, it allows farmers to make decisions around the appropriate stocking rate on the farm, when they should cut silage on the farm, when they should introduce supplements. Um, and again, it helps match stocking rate um, to supply of, of our homegrown forage, which is grazed grass in Ireland. From a receding point of view, what are we putting in or into our sward? So, in Ireland, 95% of seed sales is perennial ryegrass. So I've got a pot here of perennial ryegrass that you can see. It's ideal for this scenario where we're grazing paddocks every three weeks um, during the main grazing season because it recovers really well. Um, and so it's really good for our grass-based systems um, from a grazing point of view and conservation point of view. However, in order to grow perennial ryegrass, it does 
require high levels of chemical fertilizer and high soil fertility to keep it growing. So I've got a, a boxer of chemical fertilizer here and I've also got some lime as well. So soil fertility needs to be really good for perennial ryegrass um, to grow at its optimum levels. And this is just a little pot of perennial ryegrass seed that you see here. So 95% of what we sow in Ireland in our grasslands wards is this stuff um, at the minute. So I guess in order to reduce the amount of chemical fertilizers that we input into our grass swards, um, farmers are being encouraged to adopt um, clover or to sow clover into their um, grassland. So this is a pot of red clover um, and also uh, grass that was sown together. So red clover will fix atmospheric nitrogen um, and through biological nitrogen fixation, um, provide a supply of nitrogen into the soil profile and the grass can utilize that nitrogen that's been supplied by the clover species. Um, I have a little pot of clover seed, it's actually white clover seed here. Um, so I guess ultimately what farmers have been encouraged to do is sow both together um, and that allows us to naturally supply um, nitrogen into the system and reduce the amount of chemical fertilizer that we need in our grazing systems. Um, so I guess all farmers are trying to grow more grass um, on an annual basis, but we're all trying to do it sustainably. So grow more grass um, with the same level of input or less inputs um, if we're adopting clover grazing systems. So um, that's it for me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, I guess, a, a run through of what's happening on Irish farms with regards to measurement, budgeting, um, and what we're doing um, to improve the sustainability of our systems. Um, thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.